Uh, kind of a bad choice for this level considering we're in world 4 and there's ice. Ruji plus ice equals no. World 4 introduces us to flurries, these white guys. That came out wrong. They slip slide along the ice and have just as bad traction as Luigi does. And we'll tend to home in on your position, but because of the ice, things don't end well for them most of the time. I have to try to get down there because the potion is right below me. And we can use it. In this spot, we get a mushroom. This mushroom was not actually not in Doki Doki Panic, it was actually added for Super Mario Bros. 2. How nice of them. Ow! Get some air time so we can go this way. And get the next mushroom, which was in DDP. Nice, get that coin. Now we'll just shimmy down this little path and rocket ourselves away to the boss section, which doesn't have a boss. But I'll tell you what it does have auto bombs. These are manned by shy guys and they just spit out fireballs. You can get the shy guy off of them and ride them yourself, but they won't uh, shoot out fireballs for you, unfortunately. You kind of overpowered, but did. And that's the end of the level! It's a fairly straightforward section. Oh, cherry! One life. One life to live. No. No. Oh well. I tried. Give the old peach go. Before that shoe. This looks like we're outside in a All Stars. Okay, it starts in a cave. So yeah, this section has green Bezos. You just charge right at you instead of diving at you. Just take it nice and easy on the ice because there's also flurries here. You can easily end up getting hit. Oh wow, I double jumped there. I managed to bounce off one of the Bezos' heads. So now are you guys in for a whale of a tail? Yeah, there are just whales along the icy sea here. And that ice must be fucking frigid. Let's wait this There we go. You can use the water spouts as platforms, but don't touch them from the side, otherwise it will count as damage. They're not the friendliest whales, even though their faces tend to disagree. Like, oh hey! Meat! Bon voyage, loser! Hope you don't like getting wet! Would hate to see that dress or those heels get soaked! Since the water spell can hurt you, it is actually affected by the star man. And you can't use them as platforms anymore. If you, actually, if you wanted to use a warp, you can bring that potion over here this way. Use it over here. You know, this warp will take you to warp to world 6. Alright, this next pick requires a little bit of timing. Take this guy off, and then immediately grab this potion and then hop on the auto, uh, the auto bomb. Ah, uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. That was haphazard as fuck, but take that potion all the way over here, and you can get the next mushroom. But you make sure you jump as soon as you come out of uh, subspace, because that porcupine will likely be there. And now we gotta find another uh, red birdo. Yeah. 
It's nice for you to tend to wait until the red birdo shoots out its last shot before you attempt to make a, a pass at it. Saves time, and usually a hit. Alright, now I got a lot of chances for lives. <clears throat> Not a good start. Really not a good start. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Oh! Oh, I got one cherry to cooperate with me. The other one. He's a jerk. A thousand curses. I tried. Base Toe coming at you for 4-3. Hopefully I don't get freaking glitched through the wall again. Fucking get my life. Hey, Roberto! This one is kind of hostile, but don't kill her. Because you're going to need her to cross the big open sea. No character is really able to do it otherwise. So yeah, get that mushroom, then go back inside so you can grab the potion again. And then let the birdo do her thing. And hop on the egg to hitch a ride and enjoy the scenery. If I could time it right. And yeah, enjoy the frames of animation that C has. And just drop this off. And have bonus coins galore! If you were Luigi or Peach, you can uh, jump this segment and completely skip this part, which is a pretty long part, honestly. And there's a lot of flurries in there attempting to teabag you into oblivion. They are pretty annoying. This is where that sections like it's seconds like that where you're glad you have a dash button. Honestly, like really, really glad you have a, a dash feature. All right, grab this, but don't dash. If you're toad, you're gonna you're gonna need to su uh, super jump to that, and if you're holding dash, you let go. Potion. And climb the tower. Use potion here. And hey, look! The last mushroom. Good dance. Now we got to go through below and hitch a ride on the red shy guy. The pink one will just keep in place. They, uh, there was a tweeter here and originally, and they added it back in for advance. So you need to use the shy guy to c c go across the spikes, and I missed all those cherries. Good job. And this door, so you can, uh... Grab <clears throat> Whoa! Grab this key, guarded by these flurries. I'm gonna make up job, looks like. And now we have to go the long way down. So the phantom passes by. Ah. <laughs> a little too slow there. There we are. And now we're on the other side of that little gap. Look, that uh, big gap. You gotta be careful that Beezo just charges right at you just to give you a nice cheap shot. Because he's an ass. Next boss is Fry Guy, who is too hot to touch. Really. He shoots fireballs and constantly goes in this little arcing pattern, and he's kind of tricky to hit. He takes three hits, and his fireballs are stupidly annoying. I'm dead. I'm dead. Fuck. Let's try that again. Q. 
keep forgetting you can go from the left and right in this boss, which is helpful. get three hits off a of fry guy, he splits up into four. And you just gotta jump at them. Whoa! That was close. Damn it! They they all gain speed when you uh, they start losing uh, partners, little bits of them. When they're down to one, and it's down to one, it becomes really fast and hard to hit. No mass flame. <laughs> Great. That was fun. Recording for about an hour. Good. Now I'm making good progress, actually. Not all lives count, though. 